Is a quick tutorial on making raw dog food. What we have here are two young turkeys, about a total of 25 pounds, 12 and a half pounds each. I find that the 12 pound, roughly 12, 13 pound birds are a lot easier to cut into pieces. Okay, and then we got the veggie bowl. We got a crown of broccoli, some parsley, carrots, a little ginger and garlic, and apple, cranberries. And celery. Nice little smorgasbord. And sweet potato. One good size sweet potato, about a pound, pound and a half sweet potato. Okay, for the garlic and ginger, I use about a gram per pound of turkey. So it's about an ounce of, or so of ginger and an ounce of garlic. Um, garlic is good for dogs in small amounts, but too much is not good. You'll know if you gave them too much, they'll get the runs. But a gram a pound doesn't seem to hurt my dogs at all. They just seem to like it in the food. So there's one apple in there. Not a whole lot, you know, it's not a whole lot of veggies. Dogs need mostly meat and bone. Turkeys include the skin, the bone, and the organ meats. And then all you gotta do is run it through the grinder. Now, I got a number 32 Weston. Okay, you need at least a number 12 to grind bone. I would suggest spending the extra couple bucks getting a 32. It'll last longer, it won't get jammed as easily, things like that. Uh, with the 12 and a half pound birds, this goes right through everything, like a whole drumstick. If you get like a drumstick off a 22, 25 pound bird, you're gonna have to cut it into pieces. You know, like use a meat cleaver to smash the bones, or else uh, your your grinder might jam up. Okay. Other than that, just turn around. And to watch all of that but it's really that simple I'm just gonna run all this turkey through there right into that nice big stainless steel pan then I'm gonna run these veggies in there and last I'm gonna put in the sweet potato because that pushes every last bit of everything else right through the grinder making it easy to clean up that grinder is super easy to clean you just take off this knockoff right remove the grinder head from it pull out the auger and the knife and the plate and uh, clean it up with a little brush, and it's super easy. It's all stainless. You just scrub it down the sink real quick, and you're done. Wipe off the outside for any turkey juice. As for the food, I just grind it all into this pan, mix it all together with a big spoon, uh, divide it into like days portions. My two dogs usually eat about three, three or four pounds a day, but my girl's nursing right now, so she's gonna eat about four or six pounds a day, so. But yeah, I just freeze it, and you know, you put it in plastic bags and freeze it, and then uh, thaw it out, you know, the night before, and there you go. There are a couple of supplements you're going to want to give them. I use kelp. Enzymes Backpack Plus. This jar cost me 50 bucks, and it's lasted well over a year. Well over a year. Closer to two, actually. Actually, it might be right around two years now. Some vitamin C crystals, right? And I also give them alfalfa. Some spirulina powder and chlorella. And, uh, you know, I mix that in when I, when I actually give them the feed. It's only like an eighth of a teaspoon of this, an eighth of a teaspoon of the kelp, a quarter teaspoon of that, and a teaspoon of spirulina and chlorella, and about a tablespoon of alfalfa for the full Monty. And believe me, you feed your dog that, I don't have the alfalfa handy, I just ordered some more. If uh, you feed your dog that every day, you can also crack an egg on top of it when you mix in the supplements. You're talking about a supremely healthy dog. Supremely healthy dog. There's just nothing better. Now, your dog might not enjoy all of these different vegetables. Some people have to go with fewer cruciferous vegetables, right? You know, but a simplified one would probably be just like the parsley and the... Uh, the garlic, the ginger, and the berries maybe, and the apple. Uh, some dogs don't tolerate the cruciferous stuff, but this really works well for my dogs. They really like it. And uh, the other thing is, you know, like, you don't have to feed them as often as you would with kibble. Like, you know, the girl would have to eat kibble like pretty much all day to be nursing. Whereas with this, she can eat two or three meals. 
And then when you wean the pups, they don't need as frequent of feedings. They only need about three feeds a day, whereas with kibble, they need six. They also produce a lot less waste, and the waste is more solid and cleaner and easier to pick up. So you get about one third, one half the poop, as you will with kibble. And you'll also have a slightly better behaved dog. It's not a radical difference, but it's noticeable. Just a, just a pinch. They'll be a little bit calmer and everything. And then uh, also, you know, it's, it keeps them really regular. You know, with kibble, they have to go potty so much more often. And they also have to drink a lot more water with kibble because kibble needs to be hydrated. Whereas this is like 70% water. So your dog won't get dehydrated very easily on a raw diet. So it's really simple. It just requires this expensive item here, but this turkey cost me 99 cents a pound. Okay, now they do eat about twice as much by weight as they would have kibble because kibble is dry and this is wet. But you know, it's the equivalent of uh, you know, two dollar, two dollar fifty cent premium kibble, but it's about you know, it's a much, much higher quality food. And if you really want to, you know, give your dog optimum nutrition for longest life and minimum health issues, this is the way to go. Okay. Uh, it's just a little bit of work. I gotta do this about once a week. Uh, while she's nursing, it'll be twice. She's gonna eat like a little horse. <laughs> but uh, it's not really too much. You know, it takes me about 30, 40 minutes maybe at the most. It's just Most of the work is just cutting the turkey into small enough pieces to get it in the grinder. And then once that's done, it, it'll run through that grinder lickety split. I mean, that thing will eat 25 pounds of turkey and spit it back out in about two, three minutes. So there's really nothing to it. And it's not expensive. You know, like I said, it's the equivalent of a, in price of about a $2, $2.50 um, kibble, premium grain-free kibble, you know. And uh, I've never paid more than $1.29 for turkey. If there is an Aldi near you, that seems to be their standard year-round price on Butterball Turkey. And remember to put in everything, the whole thing, everything but the plastic pop-up timer, the plastic leg tie, and the paper bag that the organs come in. Everything else goes in that grinder. So 25 pounds of turkey is 25 pounds of dog food. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to get to grinding. My dogs are getting hungry. And uh, bon appetit.